folks how you doing today and back up ki it's uh bird season so i'm gonna give them my best shot um, i have to hunt with a 22 uh because you're not allowed to uh have a loaded ve uh, gun in a moving vehicle even for a disabled person so i can't creep up on them and with a loaded gun or i can't get out and walk to them so I have to use my range with the 22 to my advantage. Some people might not like that, but you know, once these birds get hunted once, they're taking off 100 yards away from me practically. So you don't have a lot of chance at all, unless you have something that you can take out know, a little bit more range to. And it's a couple of days in bird season now, so if there's any young ones that probably already shot anyway. So I got much, don't have much choice unless I use the 22. Or well, sometimes you can go up way up north and you know a lot more birds up that way they say so but i'm gonna give it my best shot and uh hopefully i get something on video for you of course i forgot my tripod and my other mount for the phone and stuff so like it's this uh mount that holds my camera or my phone it's a phone mount so we'll see sadly it won't be the greatest video but hopefully we'll get something off of it damage to these rows like this one right here it's got some pretty good ruts in it probably just gonna put it in four wheel drive right now that way i don't have to worry about tearing stuff up one thing you use four wheel drive going up and stuff like this so you don't spin up the roads hopefully we'll see some birds in here rain flow there's a nice hole right there <laughs> one of the best roads for birds for me but again like I said season's already started so we'll see it's good to be out the woods that's for sure someday if I ever get rich I'd like to get an over and under that way I can have it on my lap when I drive my four wheeler with the breech open that wouldn't be too bad, but you can't take four wheels up here, but by my camp I can. Over and under is not very cheap. I don't understand why an over and under costs more than a semi-automatic. They do.
this is over, Mr. Big Mist. It was, I should say. Don't know if he's still around or not. He's past some raspberry bushes. There's still all kinds of raspberries out there. That's surprising. End of September, there's still raspberries. But... There is. See a log right there. I don't know, go past it. Get too thick in there. I am so surprised how grown up this is on the air. I guess I'll back on out of here and turn around. I turned around, I'm gonna head back out that way, but right in there. That little dark little spot. It's like a tunnel. And that's a trail. It runs parallel. There's two roads here. Oh, they're both you know, 500, 600 yards between each other. And the deer comes through there and goes up in there. Deer and moose. And I want to take that other road. I have to go back down that way, I said, and make a left up the main dirt road and then down to that next road. I had my camera in there, and that's where Mr. Big was. Probably four or five years ago now. But my brother's got a big buck out here, and there's a lot of them out here, but it's so thick right now. A lot of leaves need to come off the trees still. <laughs> See, the moose have been eating a lot. All the little leaves were off a lot of these. Well, we'll head on down the road and go to that parallel road and see if I have any luck out that way. Sun to come out, burst through these clouds. Time today. Thirty plus years ago, I'd have just got out of my truck and walked these roads. I would have saw a lot more than I'm seeing in the truck. That's for sure. But that was then. This is now. leaves on the trees. Most bit on my side here. Bed. There's moose bed right there. Still see right behind that moose bed, there's still raspberries in these bushes. Small ones, but they're still a bunch of them. I don't think I'm gonna turn around here and head on out of this road and head down. Trying to find another spot. This, I think this one's been hunted already. There. I don't know if I'm gonna get the gun out for time. I don't think so. Yep, I'm still there. Oh, now he's going up the side. Of course he is. That's the one thing. Right through this, all the way in here, heading on out. You assume there's not going to be anything, and there they are, right in the road, right? Especially someplace you never expect one to be. That was a big grouse. Right on this corner here, and into the left. like that. I'm gonna get the gun loaded and every other stupid thing and he just gingerly walks off and that's the end of it. 
That's what it's like. Like that, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> Hope we'll see another one. One good thing about coming out here is uh, there are some outhouses. When you gotta go, see a bunch of turtle holes there with a bunch of turtle eggs in the ground back there. These campsites here. Yeah. You can go to these campsites and uh, use the outhouse. season right now I think but I don't know if it's moose season here I don't see any here during the moose season there'll be some campers out here it doesn't look like anybody's here so I'm not sure if they're hunting this zone right now or not but I do know I think it's still the law that during moose season you need to have at least one article of orange on that's why I bought a hat there's handy dandy little place be for the next few minutes. <laughs> there's, a, there's where the river goes into Silver Lake over here. It is very, very high. Getting a lot of rain the last few days and it all runs into this river. It is high. Heading that way. Not big up there. There's supposed to be an eagle's nest. Yeah, I see the eagle's nest. I don't hear the eagles right now, but that's why I did my kayak and trip right on this river. Moving on. Find some birds, hopefully. See every day up here. Road closed. Had to go on this road anyway, I think, unless there's a road right below it. Logging down that way so they don't want to get shot, so don't blame them. <laughs> Plenty of roads to investigate. Well, this is something you don't see very often, but here we go. Doing some cutting out there, so they even got this road blocked off. Tore right up. Well, guess that puts the kai bogs to that. <laughs> It'll be awesome when they're done. Can't complain. They gotta make their living. Just can't wait till it's done and be able to use it again. But till then. <laughs>
I watched my very first video of my brother and I hunting where we got snowed out first day of deer season two years ago three or four years ago I think it was this is where we were but the following year got so overgrown so fast that you couldn't get a vehicle in here and then it just grew and grew and grew so you just couldn't hunt out here anymore now they've come through here and cleaned it out so I assume they're probably gonna they're probably gonna be out here logging possibly but we'll see but I think this might be a snowmobile trail yeah it's great news out here I finally got this they bush hog this uh, whole road out so I can come in here and hunt again <laughs> thank god I actually have a tree stand out here and I'm gonna take a walk in and try and find it because we put the tree stand out here my brother and I and then uh, couldn't get back out here because it snowed and you couldn't get the vehicles back out this far after that. And then the following year, you couldn't even walk down the road. It had all these alders growing through it. So we couldn't even get in here to get the tree stand out. So I'm going to go check that out. It's uh, overlooking an old skidded trail out in the woods up on a mound. So I'm kind of excited to check that out. Been doing some bird hunting. Haven't seen many. I actually only saw one. You probably saw me trying to get them. But by the time I got the gun and everything out, out the the door out the window he was already gone anyway this makes my day checking this out because this is my favorite place to hunt out here you're way out in the woods not many people come this far out and uh i always seem to deer, see deer out here and my brother had a trail camera out himself further in the woods where i can't get into and he had four or five different bucks on it so let him know maybe uh we'll both do some hunting out here we'll see I'm going to go see if that stands out here, but I'm going to have some lunch first. I am starving, and it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Give the truck a little break anyway. That's the view. A lot more trees growing up right now, but once the leaves go by, mountain view and stuff out there. But this is the same area where we got all snowed in, and you can see I had wearing my brother's truck and had to run the windshield wipers to get the snow off the windshield. This is it. I am excited. This is awesome. Gotta go down about halfway and then into the right there somewhere. Hopefully my stand's still in there. At the spot where the tree stand is supposed to be in, if I can remember how to get there, I take a walk in there. <clears throat> Bring my 357 just in case, because this is also. I saw a huge bear out here uh, three or four years ago when I was out here. And I've also had moose walk right past me while I was sitting waiting for deer. It's an awesome spot. Well, I'll get you some video of that um, stand. Hopefully it's still up there unless it's crushed to the ground. Who knows what's going to want on with it, but we'll see. Well, believe it or not, still here. It's right there. It's not very high up because there's a drop off right behind it. And watch as that little tote road. Main tote road right inside through there. I'm coming through this way. There it is. I'm gonna go try and sit up on it as long as that ratchet strap and everything looks okay. This is awesome. Can't believe I finally get back out here. All kinds of moose crap all over the place. Let me go up there and sit for a few minutes. I'm up in the tree stand. See right down there. <laughs> Could tighten up the rat strap a little bit probably, but it's not bad at all. It's sitting in here. I think I'm gonna put a Make a mock scrape down there and put my last trail camera up there and watch this area. Just in case. Now we get access to it again. Won't hurt. There's all kinds of animals out here. It's way out in the willy wax. Not many people would come this far out. That's a nice little uh, trail right there. I'll, I'll show you a better shot of it when I turn the camera around. But let me show you what's over there. See, they got an old, old skidder road right there. Comes through and through that way. But as you can 
see her a lot higher up on this side because we're on a hill. It drops down, but I'll go down there somewhere and maybe I'll walk straight and put that trail camera up. In a few minutes, just take a break right now and see what Mother Nature's got to offer. Well, I just sit here for a little bit. Back down there. Pretty sweet. I am so excited to finally be able to get out here again. Whoever trimmed that road out, I thank you very much. Uh, it's a fresh deer scat right there. This is right where I wanted to put the box scrape. This goes further down that trail you can see down there. If I turn this way, that's where I came from. You can see stand up there. Nice spot. I'm gonna make a long scrape around here somewhere. Okay. Okay, I've got my long scrape right there. There's a small one there and I put a licking branch right there with a little bit of that rack rub on it. If you can see the stands up there. So I'm just gonna put the tree, oh yeah, I'll put trail camera right over there on one of those birch trees. Watch this area. There's a lot of beach right here, you can see. I've got beech nuts here. And hopefully we'll get something coming through here. Nice spot. Okay, right there will be the looking branch and the rub. Right here, got the Browning trail camera set up to watch it. I put it right to it. It's right there, so it's got a good view. Of course, this direction, up in those trees, the stand. The trail walks right on past it. Open there, goes to the road. This is a really good setup. We'll see how she goes. Well, just made it back to the truck. There's a truck in there, holy. Got that mock scrape and that rub all set up. And uh, a trail camera, so check that a week or so before deer season. We'll see what's in there. I'll let my brother know about this because he had a trail camera in the back behind me here quite a ways and he had about four or five bucks on it. So you might be interested in putting a camera out here again. But, Trying to bird hunt my way on out of here to, to home. See what I see.
but I am very pumped that I got to go up that road. They finally took the bush harder up there, whatever they do, to rip up all that brush. I was able to go see my stand again and put that that um, trail camera up and make that mock scrape out there. So that'll that'll be a good potential place for uh, this fall. November coming right up one more month after October. Thanks again for watching everybody.